What is up, everybody? This is Lyle No Hippie Trucking and Transportation coming at you from the Loves in Hazen, Arkansas. I-40, exit 193, I believe. Shut down due to bad weather. Now, the road conditions aren't, like, horrible, but I have to recognize where I'm at. If this was Colorado or Nebraska, somewhere like that, I probably wouldn't have shut down. But southern states are notorious for not being able to handle their business as far as the roads go. So I had initially planned on driving to about 70 miles outside of Nashville. Uh, I stopped here at this Love's just because I knew it was going to be getting cold. So I was like, you know what? Let me put about 15 gallons into each tank with a little bit of anti-gel. Uh, hit the reefer with some anti-gel and some fuel. And the temperature went from 42 to 27 in like 30 minutes. And I was just like, man, the road, it's been raining all day long. You throw in some below freezing temperatures on it in the south fish area wasn't really a combination that I wanted to deal with and one thing I said this winter was I was not going to be playing around with no bad weather now unfortunately I'm not sure if the roads are going to get any better uh, but I'll have some time coming back at 2am we'll take a look and see how that's going if not I'm on the verge of being able to drive it all the way in. I'm, I mean, I'm like 550 miles away. And, uh, well, let me see. You have four hours and seven Let me see. I am 577 miles away from my 90. So, all things being perfect, I could drive it all the way in for delivery. Uh, not tomorrow, but the next morning at 0200 so I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna play this but one thing I'm not gonna do is play around with uh, wet roads that are freezing in the south that's not a good combination you know but and the winds were a little bit stronger about 30 minutes ago they seemed to calm down so I'd almost thought about you know what let me just get back out here and test the waters but you know this time of night with uh, you know then parking might be an issue stuff like that so I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place to be honest with you and then you know you look at it you know I've heard some people say you know well they were trying to offer me this load for this much money you know and this weather listen the weather is the weather the amount of money that you're making on a load really has nothing to do with how good or bad the road conditions are so the money or anything like that never really comes into play but really what does come into play is uh If I end up tearing up some stuff, that's going to end up costing me a whole lot more money. So, just probably play this a little bit more conservative. Chances are, for some reason, I can't deliver it. Uh, we're going to be probably sitting on this load till after Christmas. Because uh, I'm pretty sure they're not going to be open on Christmas. But, uh, that's it. I did just talk to a driver that pulled in next to me. Uh, he said that the roads aren't icy yet, but they're getting there. He mentioned the wind, which I don't feel a lot of right now. And I do know that it's extremely cold out there because I just helped somebody back in that was a brand new driver. And uh, it took a while to get that done. Yeah. A little impatience coming going on out here right now. But it did take a while for me to get that done, so uh, I'm a little bit wet from that. 
So I don't know. We're just going to play it by ear. I'm not going to feel like I need to, you know, run it in. You know, if parking would have been a little bit better, I probably would have uh, continued on. But then you got to be thinking about Memphis. You know, you got all them bridges and all that stuff down there. If there's ice on those bridges, you know, you look at some of the maps and some of the maps are saying things are all right. Some of them aren't. But people are getting impatient out here. But anyway, that's about it. Just wanted to uh, throw that out there. Uh, talk to somebody else at Prime today that's dealing with some trailer issues. And uh, hopefully I gave him some good advice. I'm not sure the advice that this person was getting was the best advice in the world but uh, you know driving a trailer with a badly leaking air chamber that's not able to hold air is a recipe for disaster if something goes wrong because if it loses air uh, it could be a wrap so that's a totally different thing let me get back on the topic but that's what's going on out here. Uh, hopefully everybody's out there making smart decisions, not feeling like they're being pressured by themselves or anybody else to get loads there. I know there are people that are in far worse circumstances up north, but uh, like I said, being in the south is a totally different story when it comes to below freezing weather. Anything below like 40, if you start getting ice on the roads from my experience uh the local the local municipalities aren't there to uh to help you out and improve any of the road conditions so anyway that's about it just wanted to stop in and say what's up this is getting crazy out here just wanted to stop in and say what's up. I appreciate you guys stopping by. No hippie trucking and transportation. As always, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.